So in the last video we did a table of Dirichlet characters modulo 16 and this was the table we came up with using these properties. Now check the link below you can see how this table was formed right from scratch using group theory and complex numbers and things like that. So now what I'm going to do is, is how can we check this table is correct? Well there are certain properties uh, in this table that we can use each time to check our table. So this time we did mod 16, but what about like the next video I'm going to do, we're going to do mod 7 or maybe mod 13. How can we ch check those results in our table? Well, we've got here along the top column here and down this column here, n equals 1. We'll notice that they're all 1, but the rest of the table, we've got four different values. We've got minus 1, i, minus i and positive 1 spread all around the table in various places. Now this first one here, chi of n, where this is number one, this one here is what's called the principal character. So this one here, I'm going to write this one down as the principal character. So the property of this one for the principal character, I'm going to write that one down here, principal character, I'll put PC here. And then what we do is if we sum them all up over from uh, a equals 1 to m, so that's the sum of 1 to 16, all the chi's, so chi of a, if we sum them all up, our answer will be phi of m. So then that will be our values which are co-prime to our modulus. So all of it, all the numbers that were co-primed to 16, that will be our answer when we sum this up. And if you sum all these all up, we'll get eight. And that's proof that this one is correct. Okay, now what about the rest ones, the rest of these ones, which are not principal characters? So the next property which we can do is, so if you sum them all up from chi modulus m, in this case, it's modulus 16, and we sum them all up, so chi of a, so all of the numbers from 1 to 16, we get 0. So all of these Dirichlet characters here should all total up on these columns to 0. So if you look out here, 1 and minus 1, they cancel out. Same here, cancel out. These ones cancel out. These ones cancel out. That would equal 0. And we're just to look at another one with the complex numbers in it. So we've got a 1 and a minus 1, a 1 and a minus 1, two minus i's and two positive i's. So they will all equal 0. That should be the case on all of these lines here by the principal character line. OK, so now what we need to know is how many different uh, values will be inside the box. So basically what we need is to work out, first of all, the property of this modulus number 16. So 16 is a power of 2. So 16 equals 2 to the power of 4. So the roots of unity is what we're interested in here. So I can just try my psi uh, symbol. I'm not sure how good that looks, but that will do for now. So we take our phi of our modulus, in which in this case it was 16, and we divide that by 2. That should give us our number of roots of unity. Now this is our primitive roots of unity. So these are the ones that we're interested in. So it's phi of m over two, and whatever that is, that's our fourth roots of unity. So basically what that will give us is four values. We'll have omega one, which will equal plus or minus i and omega 2 will equal plus or minus i squared. So that's how we check our table of Dirichlet characters modulo 16. Now in the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to do modulo 7 and we'll see what kind of results we get in our table for that one. So keep an eye out on that one. I'll put a link in the description below when we finish making it. Okay, 